Hello everyone, this is Magish Free from my Stamp Garden. Welcome to my channel. Uh, this is the first card I made using the beautiful Dragonfly Garden bundle which comes with punch as well. Before starting today's tutorial, I like to show um, the Meha tutorial bundle using the Dandy Garden Suite. This tutorial comes with 62 tutorials in measurements will be available in both inches and in centimeter. I collaborated with 62 Stampin' Up! demos around the world globally to create this beautiful Dandy Garden Meha tutorial bundle. Anyone can purchase this tutorial even if you are a demo. All the details are available at my blog and you can see the link on the screen and in the YouTube description below. For today's card, I'm just going to use my base card as Blackberry Bliss A4 cardstock, which is cut and folded at half. And the next layer will be um, Whisper White, followed by another layer of Whisper White. And I'm just going to use Dandy Garden Design Series Paper. Here, I use the same uh, Dandy Garden Design Series Paper, but in different colors, okay? Now I'm just going to get my layering circle die and I'm just going to cut focusing this area because I just want to focus the um, dragonfly which is blackberry bliss in color. Okay. I used the large layering circle um, dies. Not the scallop one. Normal one. This is the one I'm just going to use. This is the embossing folder I'm just going to use for today's card. Okay, let me first get my stamp in cut and emboss machine. Before getting my emboss machine, I want to show one thing here. Because we are having two uh, Whisper White card stack here. We are going to emboss the second layer. I hope you can see it clearly here. The first layer will be a little bit bigger. And the second, we are going to emboss the second layer, the smaller one. Sometimes we may pick the wrong one. Again, this one is um, 3D embossing folder. We are going to use the plate number one and the speciality plate number four. I'm just placing my cardstock and run it through my big shot here. Once finished, I'm just getting my design series paper and layering circle to die cut for die cutting we need plate number one plate number two and then two plates of three so one and then you are going to place the design series paper with the die cut and then top you are going to use plate number three again once you finished now keep this piece aside and move your stamping cut emboss machine away let me first get my paper trimmer i'm just getting my paper trimmer now i'm just going to trim this piece i'm just placing exactly at eight centimeter here just i'm just uh, want to straighten the line like this don't throw this piece you can make one card using this beautiful design series paper. And the next piece, I'm just going to cut um, 1.5 centimeter on one side to decorate inside. And the next piece, the bigger one to um, decorate the envelope. You may use it for card, but I don't want to do that. For particular this piece, I want to use it for my envelope these two pieces aside now now we are going to assemble everything I'm getting my cardstock crumb cake and blackberry bliss um, ink to stamp the dragonfly there before that I'm just um, getting my butterfly image to stamp on the embossed whisper white cardstock this is the image I'm going to use I'm keep forgetting Whisper White is not available now. You can get basic white instead of Whisper White cardstock. Now 
just going to stamp the image using crumb cake ink I don't want to get a clear image of the butterfly that's the reason I just embossed first and I'm just doing my stamping next done my stamping the next thing I'm just going to stick the design is series paper there if you are interested in any of the Stampin' Up! products which I used here are available at my online shop, you can find all the link below the YouTube description. Now attach these two pieces. I'm using Tambo multi-purpose glue. Now I'm just going to stick these here using some stamping dimensional not some huge I know I use a lot but I can't help it I'm just getting my T ruler once you are happy push it down I'm going to use my blackberry bliss ink on the crumb cake cardstock uh, once I stamped my image I'm just going to get my punch and keep this one aside and the next one I'm going to use blackberry bliss cardstock to punch the small dragonflies now stick all the dragonflies first stick like this getting my glue and and I'm just getting another piece and stick these two pieces together once you attach to these two dragonflies and the next I'm just getting my stamping dimensional to stick on the bottom yes it looks nice now get some scrap piece of crumb cake and whisper white to stamp the sentiment I'm going to use this sentiment thank you for your kindness to stamp the sentiment and the next step I'm just getting my scissor to do my fussy cutting and attached on top of the crumb cake cardstock using some stamping dimensional rotate your cardstock once finished Just add some stamping dimensional. I'm getting my T ruler. Make sure everything looks straight. A must have too. It always helps to stick your image and stamps straight. I'm just placing on top. I'm not happy so I'm just slowly removing one stick on the center because the one good thing about stamping dimensional if you didn't press it down hard means of course you can remove and move it I'm getting my braided linen trim I'm just making a bow and then the next I just uh, looking which side will be good on the next one I'm just getting my linen thread I am making a double bow here I'm going to tie two bows together just like this once you are happy I'm going to attach the two bows using the glue dots I don't want to stick this side so I'm just going to change the side close to the sentiment this area like this I'm just adding two glue dots on each bow the next one I'm just getting the ladybug um, trinkets 
again I am using glue dots to stick three of them again I am just getting the artisan bloom embellishment I am using my glue to stick these pieces on the cardstock it already has glue in it but I just want to add glue for extra um, strongness so I'm just adding glue first and then attaching my embellishments here once I added just give little pressure there okay like this I like to add two more Yes, I am happy. Now let me decorate the inside piece. So getting my design series paper. Just using my scissor to trim. And attach it to the inside. This card I made for the spa design team project. Chase the designer. You can also participate in this challenge. Check over to my blog to find all the info. I am adding a little dragonfly there. The crumb cake one. I just want to decorate the envelope. I am just adding the remaining design series paper here. My today's card is almost finished. All the product details and the measurements will be available at my blog. You can see below the YouTube description. Hope you all like my today's video. See you soon. Until then, bye from Ageshwari. See you. Bye bye.